Hello and welcome back live to New Orleans Media Day for the 2017 NBA All-Star Game. And look who just walked in the room. What's you good? Up? How yeah. are you, Kevin Durant? Doing well. Awake? Finally, yeah. What time did you wake up? Uh, about 10 o'clock. You know, you've been moving around all day yesterday. It was a hectic day, but, you know, today should be smooth. When you say moving around all day, that means moving around, like, at mm -hmm. night? Too. Where were you last night? Uh, during the day. During the day, you know, bouncing from event to event, media session, mm -hmm. media session. Uh -huh. Went See, to sleep a little early last You're not night. making eye contact with me as you say that, so I know that you're full of it, but that's okay. Um, hard to believe this is your 10th season, yeah. but 8th All-Star Game. Is it still as meaningful? Is it still an honor? Yeah, it is. It's still an honor, you know, growing up and really wanting to be a part of this weekend as a kid and you know, having a chance to make my, you know, my first one. And I just wanted to keep coming back year after year. So I always wanted to improve my game and to be looked at as a for sure all-star, mm -hmm. you know. So to be a part of this weekend is amazing for the fans and for the game of basketball. And I just want to go out there and have fun. So can I get that elephant in the room question out of the way? Go ahead. <laughs> um, I saw you after last Saturday's game in Oklahoma City, right? Yeah. Saw you about 45 minutes after it ended. Yeah. I described you as seeming relieved afterwards relieved that that first trip back is over with is that accurate i don't even think it was about the trip it was more so about you know it was so much coverage there i never seen that many people in oklahoma city <laughs> for a game you know for a regular season game um just to hype around it i'm glad that was over the game was the, the best part you know it wasn't about basketball it was about all the other distractions that come with it and we all knew what was coming you know yeah. especially uh, once I made this move, but you know, I'm glad, you know, we're still human at the end of the day um, But I, so I'm glad that that's over with and we could just move on and you know Everybody's been wondering for so long how that game will go and now that they know, you know Hopefully the next one probably won't be as intense or you know from a from a media standpoint yeah. or fan perspective, but um, Just glad it's over. You know, you you came out and you know first quarter I think you were too afraid in the first quarter and then you picked it up and finished with 34 and and you were you were out there It's like once afraid? the game got going you said afraid. I didn't say afraid. Oh, okay. I thought you said afraid. Did I say afraid? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Now you're scared me okay. two for eight and oh, just slower. Eight. Yeah, oh, okay. slower in the first quarter, but then yeah. you picked it up. Yeah. Don't get me in trouble <laughs> and Throughout it's it seemed like your guys had your back because they knew what you'd be feeling like emotionally Yeah, I mean, they knew you know everybody on our team or from the coaching staff from the front office, you know on down everybody knew um, what that'll be like and you know how important that game was to all the fans in Oklahoma City and fans around the around the country and around the world You know that watched that game. So um, What the fans say to you? What, what did some of those people that you were looking to see you looking forward to seeing what did they say? Uh, the people that are you know just happy to see me and, and I felt the same way yeah. it was you know missed a lot of faces that I, I'm so used to seeing and you know so that you know nobody People that I got to know, they really didn't. They, exactly. It really didn't matter to them where I play. They just miss seeing me every day, and I and I miss seeing them as well. So, so do you, uh, I mean, there was John. You know, you and Russ went out a little bit there. You went out with a couple of people, or they went at you, whatever. It was an emotional yeah. game. So coming into this, I guess it'll be good because <clears throat> the the round of firsts will be over, right? So mm -hmm. now you will be on an All Star team together while you're separate for 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 the first time. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna handle it? with Russell starting now through Sunday? Well, I'm having the All-Star weekend like I always did. Get in and get out. Um, do everything I'm supposed to do. Play the game and have some fun, you know? I ain't come here for it to be any drama or have heart-to-heart -heart with anybody. I'm coming here and enjoy, enjoy my weekend, enjoy my couple of days I got off, and get ready for the second half of the season. So are you going to go up and talk to him? Because you've said that maybe I could have done things a little bit differently. I mean, because then it's over with, right? Because he keeps saying that you guys haven't talked. I don't know. I mean. You haven't decided yet? Yeah, I, it's, not even a, it's not even something I'm thinking about, to be honest. Okay. If it happens, I'm not planning anything. If it happens organically, it does. But I'm, I'm not planning to do anything. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm just coming out here enjoying my weekend. Um, you know, looking forward to being a part of the festivities as an all-star and all, you know, everything else that falls in line after that, it does. But if it happens, it does. If it doesn't, it's no big deal. So either. organic, it's, you're not going to plan something. No, not at okay. all. Okay. It's been seven months. It's kind of yeah. hard to believe that it's been seven months since you, since you made the announcement and you left. Been. What what have you learned the most? Uh, just not worrying about what other people think that, that, sh that I don't know. <laughs> That's yeah. the thing, you know, people that really don't, 
you know, make my life go or matter to me as far as, you know, what decisions I make or who I am. Like, if I, I can't worry about those people. I don't, I don't. Was I feel that like hard to do, though? To, to it was, let it go? is. Yeah, I mean, because you feel like you're playing for so many other people. You're, you know, for a fan base. You feel like you're living your life for a fan base and for people that love the game of basketball. And, you know, you have, sometimes you have to realize it is just, it's just a game and it's entertainment for most people. And it's our life, you know, for the best, as the players, this is our life. So I can't live my life based on, like, fans. So or, hard because we hard saw you in you, Oklahoma City. And yeah. you were involved with those fans. And yeah. you're with the kids. And you're still helping in Oklahoma yeah. City, by the way. And so it's almost like you have to change your personality to shut yeah. that out. And yeah. that doesn't happen overnight. It's hard. It's a thin line, you know, because you care so much about the fan base and, you know, the support that they, they give. But at the same time, you can't live your life solely based off of what other people, you know, want for you. Exact, you know, so... Even your family, even your friends, some, you got to make a decision for yourself. And that's what I did. And I, yeah. I respect anybody that does that. But it, it is a fine line between knowing yeah. that you represent a fan base and they care so much about you. That's what made it so tough. So, but sometimes you got to make the hard decision. I read Mark Spears' article in The Undefeated about, about your adjustment off, off the court. And yeah. as usual, like you did in Oklahoma, you're becoming ingrained in the community quickly. I mean, business-wise, it seems off yeah. the court like you're out there you're with the fan what has that adjustment been like for you off the court uh, it's been an adjustment i think it's been fun just having just uh so many resources out in the bay area you know and things that i'm interested in I, it's a phone call away i can you know figure find my way into a meeting or to a, into a room and i i formed a company about a year and a half ago you know that me and my partner run um and it's it's an umbrella for you know all of our business and you know startups and restaurant business that we have wow. so we uh you know it's trying to think about stuff outside of basketball and life after basketball and it's been great so far you're in a great you're in the perfect area for that with oakland with san francisco i heard you're even taking the mark like you're on the train yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i'm trying to trying to get ingrained in the community and you know um get comfortable out there mm -hmm. so it's been it's been definitely been fun it's been a, it's been a crazy adjustment but it's been good so far on the court Defensively, I know you say, hey, but I've been doing this for 10 years. Yeah. But, I mean, you have career, you're averaging career highs and rebounds, blocks, field goal percentage while taking the fewest shots of, of, of your career. Yeah. Defensively, the numbers are better, Kevin. Yeah. To what do you attribute that? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, just challenging myself and coach putting me in, in great positions and playing a four a lot. So I'm underneath the basket. I'm guarding bigger guys. I'm, you know, uh, being held accountable to protect the rim and to help my teammates. So just try to go out there and play my best and be a, be the ultimate team player on both ends. You know, it was an adjustment. It was a challenge. But uh, I'm just trying to take it head on and keep getting better. You know, you only can get better through, through the tough times, through the challenges. So I'm outside of my comfort zone in a way I've, you know, always played the game. But, you know, moving and cutting and yeah. blocking shots and, you know, grabbing rebounds, I think that's stuff that I, I always – figured I can do but it's, it's been showcased a little bit more like now up here yeah, I'm despite not. having other players a uh, Raymond Green who's kind of good on defense yeah. as well so that's what's interesting but you you attribute that to saying okay we, we know what I can do offensively yeah, yeah. and defensively but now that you're with this team another level yeah I'm playing different positions you know coach will let yeah. me play point guard sometimes you know I can run off the of screens and shoot threes I can rebound and bring it up the court or guard the Zach Randolph, a couple of possessions here and there, or, you know, just, you know, feeling like I could do just about everything on the court. Um, and Coach is giving me, you know, uh, allowing me to do so. Uh, just trying to showcase my game to my team and trying to help my team every single night and, and, uh, and be there for them. And a lot of people don't think I'm pulling my weight here, but I am. So I, I, I take pride in that going into the game, knowing that all right, I got to come out here and help this win. Um, in different aspects of the game, if we want to be a good team, so I try to challenge myself every night. When did you kind of? When do you kind of think that you that, that it clicked for you this season? Uh, I, I want to say probably around December, January, when you know we struggled a little bit and um, we were winning games, but it wasn't the way we wanted to win. And yeah, um, Kerr lets you know that, and he's yeah, pretty clear about yeah, it. He is. <laughs> uh, so you know, just you know. Just, Cutting off the ball, just rebounding, taking it full court, just trying to play fast, getting in passing lanes, pressuring the ball, that type of stuff that we preach. I just try to think about that more than anything, and, you know, it's been helping me. Last time you were here, 2014, do you remember your numbers during the All-Star game? I don't remember. I happen to have them. 38 points, 10 boards, 
six assists. You lost. We lost. Doesn't really matter in the All Star game, does it? It's not like Major League Baseball where, where there's something on the line. You're right. Right. But it was a fun game. It was, fun <laughs> it was game. fun. Yeah. So we expect more of the same um, come Sunday. But have fun. Thank you. And keep things organic, right? Yeah, we'll <laughs> see. Cool. Yeah. I mean, he's right over there in about yeah. two minutes. But yeah. listen, I appreciate your candid and, and your honesty because I know that you get tired of these questions. But um, after this, we're done. All right. Enjoy. All right, Kevin thanks. Durant live appreciate here from New Orleans.